Today we're going to be doing some art, doing some drawings, or we're going to make some happy little trees and some happy little things. Sorry, I'm trying to be Bob Ross. It's not working. Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are all having a fabulous Friday. Wait, I'm mute. Wait, am I mute? It says I'm on. You know, he scared me. I thought something happened. I'm getting mixed reviews. Some people are saying um, my audio is on and other people are saying my audio is off. I, I was whispering when I first came on. I should be on. Check, check, check. Yeah, I, I can hear myself. What's going on? Okay. All right. Okay. I was just talking really softly. All right. That's all it was. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. Just uh, just wanted to make sure. I was like, everything says my mic should be working, so I'm confuzzled. Logan, thank you. You don't have the hair for Bob Ross either. Nope. 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 I do not. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay saying that. I'm okay with that. What happened to your right hand? Nothing. This is my this is my art glove. So that way I don't hit buttons while I draw. So there's nothing wrong with it. Like, you know, I take it off and my hand is fine. <laughs> it's just my art glove. Because every time I start drawing on my iPad without it, I regret it. So I already have it on. So we're good. <laughs> It was, it originally was off, but once you said Bob Ross, I definitely heard you. So, I mean, I was talking, but I might have been so quiet the mic wasn't picking it up or something because I didn't press a button. Mr. Art Rules, thank you. Draw Sandy. Uh, maybe. If y'all want to see me, uh, if y'all want to see me draw Sandy, I was going to try to draw something from Africa because I just got back from there, but if y'all would prefer Sandy, I would try that. Three word impression, Mr. Art Rules. What, what three words would you like to try? Oh, that's nifty. I need that. <laughs> They're very handy. <laughs> They're very handy. See what I did there? Um, I mean, I just got these off of Amazon. They were super cheap. These are specifically a uh, Time Better Artistic Drawing Glove. They're like that. It's got a pack of two, so there's another one in there. Um... Sandy on Safari. Okay. All right. Uh, I will do my best. Clever idea using the glove, and I get it very handy. I used to not use the glove, and I'd keep pressing buttons all the time while I'm drawing, and I'm like, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. And so I got frustrated, so I tried it, and then I'm like, okay, this is pretty awesome. But I didn't like the idea of like being constricted while I was drawing like that, but that was fine. Brian, what did I what did you do about the hurricane? Nothing, because I wasn't here. <laughs> I was in Africa when that all happened. But from what I understood, it was very minor for everyone in California, at least where I lived. Everyone was like, oh yeah, we just got some rain, and that was it. Which for Southern California, we need the rain. So I have an idea of what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna kinda draw kind of what like our safari jeeps were just kind of get a rough I might need to shrinky dink it down a bit because they all had this little opening at the top I'm not the best at drawing cars so that's not my best no I want to take this and yeah, there we go. Automobiles and cars are not my best, so I might need to pull up pictures of our safari jeep just so I kind of have a better remembrance of what it looked like because there, there was more to it than that, but eh, it doesn't have to be exact. This is... It doesn't have to be exact. Carter, thank you. Thoughts on Disney doing their streaming exclusives on 4K... 
and Blu-ray. The first titles they're doing on physical are Mandalorian Season 1 and 2. Wait. Oh, putting their streaming exclusive on 4K and Blu-ray? That's great. Do it. The, the less they make their exclusives like that. Because well, that's the thing that I always hate is the loss of media. Is like, yeah, whenever they start doing... Whenever they stop... Because they can take it off streaming whenever they want. But then, yeah, if you're a big fan of that show, then it's gone forever and you can't watch it again. I'm not a fan of that. I like the idea that they put it onto Blu-ray, DVD, all that kind of stuff. So that, yeah, in case they're like, you know what, let's get rid of this on streaming, people can still watch it. That's my big pet peeve. Is I, as long as you can still watch it somewhere, I don't care. But make your make your stuff available to watch whenever people want. Even if they got to pay for it, you know, do all this other stuff. That's fine, but give people a reason to watch. Uh, give a, people a way to watch, I should say. Logan, thank you. I feel like someone asked about your hand every drawing stream. Just you wait one of these times. somebody will uh, Something will actually be wrong with your hand. <laughs> You'll see. You never know. All right, uh, Carter, here's your wheel spin. You choose, Carter. You can pick anything on the wheel. And Logan, this one is yours. The world according to Jeff Goldblum is it on Disney Plus anymore. Yeah. Hence why it would be great if that was on Blu-ray or 4K or whatever. Franken voice. What Franken voice would you like, Logan? All right. Hang on. Let me... Let me actually... No. Let me shrink this down a little bit more. Because the whole thing is I'm trying to get... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, we're, we're going to just make this car a cartoony looking one. It's not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be a hyper realistic car. So we're not going to go with that. So it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to look and feel like a car. This is going to be a cartoony version of a safari. So that's all. But yeah, so when we were on the safari, uh, they would have these tops, the tops of the safari truck that would actually raise up, which is what I'm drawing right now, at the very, very top. And up here, you could actually stand up inside the Jeep. You could stand up inside the Jeep, look over, and you could get a better view and photograph and all that of the wildlife that was there but you were still safe inside the inside the jeep but you didn't have to worry about the windows you didn't have to worry about like the car doors and you could just take all the pictures you wanted and he'd even drive around with you standing up in there because he was never going too fast so there most of the time it was actually weirdly less bumpy if i stood up so like half the time we were going on safari and i'm just standing up there and got my arms against the side and just like I could see everything from up here. <laughs> it was uh, it was nice. I thought the safari jeeps were like the Jurassic Park jeeps. Not quite. Um, I don't. I have a picture of the safari jeeps we were on, but I don't have it to where I can show you right now. So I'm just kind of cleaning up all these lines. Cause Sandy will poke her head out of one of these. Like I said before, this is not going to be, this is gonna, this is going to be a cartoony version. So any architects in here will be like, Oh, the lines are not straight. No, this is not supposed to be a realistic car. Just realistic enough to get the point across that it's a safari Jeep. And this isn't even the final drawing of it because it's still in blue. This is just to really set the scene because normally I wouldn't go this detailed with the blue. But this is just to really nail down where the Jeep is because the Jeep is going to be the centerpiece of this piece. I need to move the microphone for a second. It's going to be the centerpiece of the piece because... It's the set for where Sandy will be, but
but then it's also kind of what I need to go with to get um, the animal in here because I want Sandy looking at an animal. Actually, this looks boring. I don't want to make it too crazy or else it'll pull focus from Sandy and the animal, which I don't want to do. But here, we'll do kind of this. Oh, just that. So it's kind of like the path. We'll go down here a little bit and go back up. So it's kind of like it's curving from a path around here. So we're like rounding a curve. And we'll have like grass over there that'll kind of hide it. And it'll go into the wilderness over there. So it's kind of like we drove down this road. It just it just makes things a little more interesting, but I don't like this curve up here. So I think it's just going to be going straight from here. I think the curve up the front's too much. Yeah. So we'll do that and we'll keep going on our way. But then I also want to make sure that because <laughs> my, my idea was to actually have an animal in the foreground that uh, people could see that we'd see the animal. So like. My idea was actually to have Sandy in here watching. She's got like a little camera with her. That's like going off of the side. This is not the best camera right now, but fact is it makes sense but yeah I'm just kind of planning it out Nickel thank you happy late birthday wish and take a birthday spin thank you ah oh, Johan will come out here in a second Hang on, I wanna, sorry, I'm kind of in the zone right now. So before I go get Johan and stuff, I wanna make sure that I kinda get just a base down. Because I know Yo Johan can handle a lot, but I wanted to at least kind of get my vision down first before he came in. No, that's not going to work the way I want. Because I don't want to lose this nice curve. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I don't want to do this too much because then Sandy gets like super small. But if I can do this and put her... At this angle a little bit. I have a little bit more room to play with to add. My really rough elephant. Just kind of plan out where the elephant will be. And then I'll Yeah, that feels weird. That doesn't feel right. I know, I gotta go through and do all these rewards. But, like I said, I'm kind of in the zone. And I like wanna at least get this down where I'm happy with it. So then I can really talk with y'all and just color and clean up. But it's like making the base of it down is tricky. Because I don't want to lose that. Here's what we're going to do. Let's aim.
Let's go for a baby elephant first. Yeah, that feels right. Put like a baby elephant down first and then just kind of have mama off to the side right behind it. So in that way, I don't lose all that, but you can tell what's going on. It's not a great eye, but eh, this is the rough drawing. It doesn't really matter. This is just to plan out everything. So then we can have, yeah, the grass in the back. We'll have a nice acacia tree over here. Get a rough of everything. Cool. And I'll make sure you can see her eye right there. It's just kind of help everything and put the wrinkles there. Need something else over here, though. Yeah, we need something down here. Yeah, that is not a great acacia tree, but that's the rough, so that's fine. So yeah, Sandy's there. She's watching. And then... Uh, either do another elephant or hmm I was thinking because the one of the other animals we'd see all the time well here's what we're gonna do in the back we're gonna put like the silhouette of a giraffe back here we won't like do heavy colors on it or anything but just it's in the back it looks like his neck is broken but I'll fix that Here's what we'll do. I like this. We'll have a rhino that's like facing us, just kind of doing its own thing. And then like there'll be grass and stuff there. Okay, I like that as the base. Cool. All right. Now let me start going through some of this stuff. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, we got a three word impression Africa, elephant, and Sandy. <clears throat> okay, how am I going to pick some of those three? Uh, I'm trying to start thinking what to do. <clears throat> Jumbo, and welcome to your safari, Sandy. I, along with my young one here, want to greet you on your safari. Hi, Sandy! <laughs> yeah, I heard Jumbo every two seconds while I was out there. It was amazing. That's how you say hello in Swahili. It was really fun. Uh, Carter, you want an impression of your choice? And uh, Franken voice, Sid the Sloth and dr and Dagger. Okay. So that's what I really wanted you to know. As I will go over here and try to take the dragons for myself. Oh no, don't worry, Hiccup. I will take these dragons under my wing. <laughs> he loses like all of his credibility when he's got the lisp like that. Okay. Uh, then with that, let me go get Johan for a little bit. Johan! Hello, everyone. It is Johan, ya. Yeah? Okay. Let me set my timer. Very good. Okay, so I like what Brian has done so far, but I think 
I think there's something that I can do to help him along. Let's see. I don't. I. I want. I think Brian would like it better if we could see Mama Elephant's face better. Doesn't have to be crazy, but just enough. So you can see Mama's eye right here, right there. And yeah, we'll lose a little bit of the road, but not much. Enough you can totally tell what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's better. That's better. I think Brian would like that more. Okay. There we go, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now let's actually get some darker layers in here. And first... I'm going to start with this Jeep so we can get some nice shapes, yeah? No. Not like that, yeah? Make a nice curve right there. And then straight line. think no the the angle is off yeah let me clean this up for brian no no there we go eh, ish better no right there we go that's that's definitely better. See, that's a good thing about this line tool. Because Brian struggles with the angles sometimes. And this way, it's like, well, you're going to get the correct angle no matter what you do. And this one, we're going to add a little bit of a uh, roundedness for the front of the vehicle. But yeah, we're going to change this angle, yeah? To make it more pleasant to look at, yeah? Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, let me go get Brian now. Brian! Oh, yeah. I do like what Johan did with the elephant there. Okay. Now, let me see something. Yeah. Okay. This way, I can just kind of see the Jeep by itself and see how Johan was kind of changing the angles and see how they're looking. Because overall, I like it. It's giving the car kind of like an RC vibe, and I'm not mad at that. And then there. Mm, do I like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Like I said before, cars are not my st strong suit. Johan's better at them than me. So I should have let him come out and do a little bit more. But... That's all right. No. That's not what I want. I want a straight line. And then a curve. There we go. To make that side view mirror. Because you're so good at drawing animals. I wish I was better at other stuff as well. But when I was younger, that's all I would draw. 
I wouldn't really draw people or inanimate objects or plants or much anything else. So now I feel like I'm a one-trick pony on that. But I was like, I didn't want to draw anything else. I was just interested in trying to draw animals as realistically as I could. And then I went to cartooning and just kind of kept with the animal trend. Especially elephants. For obvious reasons. Alright, let me... Yeah, let me look at this without everything. I'm not hating... Oh, oh hang on, hang on. I'm not hating these angles, but I'm not loving them either. Especially this one. This one definitely needs a little bit more love. There. And, nope. I might need to redo this line. But that's fine. Because, yeah, I'm trying to make this stylized, but I also want to keep relatively good angles but no i totally messed that one up never mind we need this line to come out a little further yeah there we go no you do that line too that's about here there and then here Okay, those angles feel better. Yes, those angles feel better. You're better at objects and shading some animals, but humans are your kryptonite. Well, humans, I feel like, are everybody's kryptonite at first because we don't get any wiggle room with them. Like, uh, animals, unless you're dealing with somebody who studies these animals relentlessly, you can fudge a lot and because people don't have a really solid, huge memory of animals that often. So unless they're weirdly good at knowing them, you can get away with a lot and fudge a lot and people won't notice. But people see people every day, all the time. There's no way around that. So everybody is an expert on people. So in order to get them looking right and not in that weird uncanny valley zone, then yeah, it's really stinking hard. Hence why it was so hard growing up. I'm like, eh, I didn't want to touch it. Unless it was cartoon characters. I could kind of do them then, but even then, I just wasn't that interested to be honest. Nintendo DS, thank you to Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi, thanking Charles Martinet and wishing him good luck traveling the world and being a Mario ambassador. Mr. Martinet, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't know why we're being nice, Wario. Uh, just go with it. Okay. Good luck being a Mario ambassador. Yes, good luck being a Mario ambassador. Wait, why not the Wario? Nah, we be a Waluigi ambassador. <laughs> Let's see here. Because I'm trying to add a little bit of this. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good there. That's good there. Okay. So, yeah, now I can just erase all of this. I'll have to clean that up in a little bit. But it's like the roof of that. So, yeah, you guys might be saying, but you totally just erased part of that back there. But that whole thing you drew back there. But that was partially just to make sure I had the angles right. And they were good enough for a cartoony car. But I'm 
not sold with this windshield. Actually, that helps me a lot. Just that one little line helps a lot. Logan, thank you. Did anyone else get introduced to David Bowie through Labyrinth movie, or was that just me? No, it was me too. I had no idea who he was before Labyrinth. And even then, I didn't watch Labyrinth when it first came out. So I didn't watch that. I, what? I was in high school when I first saw it. I didn't know who David Bowie was till then. Voice of my choice. Um, I want to do some Yoshi. 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 Okay. But yeah, I'm happy with this car so far. Get a nice light here. Nice light there. Hang on. Yeah, I kind of just get a rough idea of where everything is this way. And then clean it up in here. Where I don't have all that stuff getting in my way. There. A lot of that. Then we'll draw the front bumper. And the bumper kind of follows. If anybody out there are really big car aficionados, just know that I know this is not an accurate car. But it's good enough for a car too. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit. And I just kind of wanted to get the general shape down. And now I can go and clean things up. Hey, Brian, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I'm finally not jet lagged anymore, even though I didn't sleep very long last night. It was weirdly restful, which I will take. But oh my gosh, I have not had jet lag as bad as when I got back from this trip, you guys. Like, I, I, I'm telling y'all, I have, it was the worst jet lag I've ever had. Now, don't get me wrong. It was 100% worth it. Like, I would go through that again. In fact, I'm already like, okay, when am I going to go back? Because I have to go back. That was one of the greatest trips I've ever taken in my life. So I will 100% go back to Africa. It's a matter of when, not if. There we go. Yeah, clean that up a little bit. There. Okay, not too shabby. I feel like that wheel feels right now. Well, it's not what I meant to do. Well, you took seven flights, of course you'd be that badly jet lagged. I mean, yeah, I was. it was a 10 hour delay. I was 10 hours ahead in Kenya than where I am in California, which is weird. I got on the time, like, insanely fast. I'd say it's probably the fastest I ever got on a time on a vacation ever, or on a trip ever. But then again, you know, this was like the number one trip I've always wanted to do my entire life. I probably had some adrenaline going to help me get on that time pretty quick. And then coming to California, I did not have that same adrenaline and I was just wiped. It's like my body, when I got back to California, my body was like processing everything that I made it do. Because it was just kind of like on, we just got to go, we just got to go, we just got to go. And then we didn't have to go anymore. And it just crashed. And it crashed hard. 
so much so I intentionally have like taken this uh, uh oh is it lagging I hope not is it looking good to you guys I intentionally took this week slow so that um, I could handle life you know okay so these windows are gonna get tricky now that I have changed some of the angles to be a little bit cleaner so I'm gonna try with these to make them pretty clean and I'm kind of cheating I'm making Sandy's intentionally bigger than the rest of them it's one you hopefully won't notice except for you guys since I just told you I'm doing it but for like you look at it it feels like it's the proper size oh I drew that on the wrong layer dad gummit <laughs> no okay I drew those on the wrong layer hang on that makes me sad. I'm sure some of you guys were like, y'all saw it happening and you're like, no. Let me make sure I'm doing it right this time. Yeah, I'm doing it right that time. <clears throat> to be honest, Brian, that's great for perspective. Well, good. See, I'm glad I'm doing smart things. See, a lot of you guys have, like, done art classes and junk. I never really did. I, I technically took some, but one was, like, an elective in middle school, and they didn't really do a whole lot other than they basically just told us to go draw whatever we wanted. <clears throat> I really only learned shading there. I didn't really learn a whole lot else. I didn't, like, go to school to draw or anything. Most of this I've just learned on my own. So, it's nice when people who actually have, like, no, I just did it again. I started drawing correctly. Okay, we're going to get this right this time. Okay, I'm on the right layer this time. It's the third time I've drawn these. Do I have to check after everyone? Yes. There we go. I'll clean that up in the other shot. Yeah, once I start doing Sandy and the animals... I won't be jumping to the other layer as much. Yeah, see, this is all kinds of wonky, so now I can clean them up here. <clears throat> Mac the Dizzy fan, thank you. I'm sorry, I did not answer this earlier. Which of these do you like most? Amphibia, the Owl House, or Gravity Falls? For you, it's Amphibia. I'd probably say Gravity Falls, but Amphibia is up there. It well, I liked all three, but Gravity Falls was probably my favorite. Um, but Amphibia surprised me. When I first saw Amphibia, I'm like, Amphibia, I'm just not going to like this show. It feels kind of out of left field. I wasn't really into it at first. But the more it went on, the more I fell in love with it. And I was like, dang, all right, Amphibia. Yeah, I really got to fix the angles on those windows. Voice of your choice, Max at Disney fan. Who would you like? And Logan, thank you. So I got a, f I get a phone call from my mom interrupting the stream. Then not five seconds after I hang up with her, my dad calls. And I'm like, you guys are with each other. You could have told him. Like oh, my gosh. Dude. Dude. That happens all the time with me and my parents. They're, they're like, they're not with each other at the house. But they're like, both out running errands. And they both call at almost the exact same time. I'm like, did y'all plan that? And then they get to the house later, and there's like, I talked to Brian. It's like, I talked to Brian, too. What? <laughs> they don't even realize. I'm like, y'all just called. Y'all called at almost the exact same time, and y'all weren't even near each other. 
That's crazy. So Logan, uh, I don't think I've spun the wheel for you. Parents are hilarious. It's so true. Johan. Well, Johan can come and fix my windows for a second. So I will let him do that. Johan. Hello, everyone. It is Johan, yeah? Okay. So there we go. Brian looks like he needs a little help with the windows and things. I can assist with that. But first, I didn't do this before. Time for fun with your hand. Time for fun with your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time for fun with your hand. Okay. So let's do this, yeah? Okay. So let's fix up this car a little bit. Before I help him with the windows, we're going to fix this tire first. We're going to go whoop. There we go. Is it perfect? No, but good enough. Good enough. Oh, that is not a good angle. No. Too big. Try again. No. Oh, it's okay. That'll work. Okay. So now for the angle, yeah. So we need to do this. We're going to make one long line. Go that way. Then. One long line going this way. There. And then now. Actually, no. Right idea. We need to move that one down a bit, yeah? So this one, yeah. The line will be underneath that. There we go. That feels right. That feels right, yeah? So there's Sandy's window. Smaller back window. He'll have to clean these up a little bit, but... The fact is, they will be the proper size now, yeah? Yeah, you probably have to fix those lines. That's okay. Uh, Miss Art Woods, thank you. Can you get raids on YouTube? Uh, technically, I think you can. But it's not, like, super common. But you technically can, I think. Okay. Let me go get Brian now. Brian! Okay. Uh, Mac the Disney fan, thank you. Uncle Stripe from Bluey. <laughs> I will see if I remember his voice. Because <clears throat> he's kind of got... Because that's Muffin's dad. <clears throat> I, if you two aren't sharing on that thing, we're going to have to turn it off. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. That is good enough for a cartoon car. I'm going to take it. Is it perfect? No. But it's good enough. So I can draw like the car door handle. I'll draw like the outline of the door. Yeah. I don't want to do all the way up the thing to draw the entire door. As I don't really think that's necessary. I think it just confuses things more than everything else. And just busies up the scene. Where I don't need it busy. I need it clean. So 
So here we go. Now we get to Sandy. Make sure I'm in the right. Yeah, I'm in the right one. So now I can kind of clean up Sandy. She's got her little muzzle. We come up to a nice smile. And there's her cheek. And give her a nice big eye. And we give her like a little eyebrow. Little eyelash. I don't want to overdo it with the eyelashes, but she would totally have eyelashes as a cartoon dog. She totally would. There's her cheek back there. Her little eyebrow there. If I'm being honest here, Sandy would not be happy on a safari. <laughs> she would be scared and nervous as all get out. She's uh, She's been to my parents' ranch, and that's about as close to a safari as she can handle. And even then, she gets iffy around that too. Sometimes she likes it, and other times it's just too big for her. So she's got her little paw. On her uh, camera there. So one thing that I noticed that's happening now. Is I'm still drawing. Like if I clean up this. You guys can see her arm is kind of just floating there. But I can draw like an interior. Of the Jeep. And it's one that will go throughout the whole interior. You can kind of see like the inside of it a little bit. And I won't go super detailed in there, just enough to be like, hey, there's a chair here. There's a chair here. And I'll like color that some muted tone back there and I'll start drawing the seat that Sandy's sitting in, but it'll only go that far. So that way it just kind of helps, you know, fill out the space a little bit. And we'll like put the steering wheel over here, even though the steering wheels were not on this side of the Jeep while we were there, but eh, it's good enough. It doesn't need to be exact. The steering wheels were on the opposite side of the car from America, so it was most like the UK and Australia that way so they would have agreed with that part of the world Eh, I need to fix that front one but I'm happy with the way it looks in the last cars but that's the thing hello again thank you muffin is the one who does the funny grandma thing right oh yeah muffin she's the one that throws the tantrums half the time but I will say this. She's kind of grown on me over over the episodes. Here. We'll do that. Kind of make a dashboard. Have the steering wheel. Peek over that. And then seat. Seat. I like it better than the other way, but eh. I kind of ignore that for right now while I work on other things. Here's your wheel spin, Logan. Oh my gosh, we got five minutes left. I focused too much on this car. <laughs> Johan again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Magda Disney fan, thank you. What is your favorite line from Bluey? My two favorites are when Muffin says coconuts have water in them and when Chili says wackadoo. Um, I, I am a big fan of, ah, oh, biscuits. I'm a fan of that. Of course, there's also, I slipped on my veins. Oh, there was, there was a couple other ones that I really loved. I can't think of them right now. Johan again. All right, we're going to be going a little long on this one. So, okay, Johan. 
I know you guys love Johan. Okay, Johan will be out for two times. Okay. Let's see how far we can get in this before we have to end this stream. Brian focused really hard on this car, didn't he? At some point, he needs to finish this on his own. And then, like, post it on Instagram or something. Maybe. We'll see. Brian's got a lot to do. So maybe I'll see if I can't convince him to do that. So yeah, Sandy will be in there. Weirdly enough, the car was the hard part. Let's see if we can't speed run the animals. There we go. Okay, Rhino is pretty much there. Let's get this road in. I know it's going through the elephants, but that's okay. Because I will erase the line. But they need the line to look good on the ground. No. No. I need a curve. It's a slight curve. There we go. There we go. And then we can erase. Where the elephants are. There. Great. Let's see how that's looking so far. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can at least get a nice line outline before we have to finish. Ryan and I will have to pull double time, but I think we can do it. Uh, Mickles, thank you. Uh, what do you think of Sadie's a werehound? If she was a werehound, nobody would be scared. She's scared of everything. She wouldn't scare anybody. Everyone would... Uh, she would... She'd be scared by everyone. Three-word impression. What do you want Brian to do? Joy, thank you. Can those gloves be useful for other drawing materials or just digital? I think it's fine for anything. I think it's specialized for digital, but it should be fine for anything. Bo! Okay, Bo, Bo is not as much of an artist as we are, but he will certainly give it a shot, I'm sure. Okay. So let me go ahead and start working on Mama Elephant real quick. There we go. There we go. And thank you, Janice, for being an epic holomaniac, yeah? Thank you, thank you. There we go. Loop on those tusks. Add a little bit of roundedness there. The ear comes down. So you can see a little bit of that there. Here's some of the underbelly. The front leg, the other leg. So 
then the trunk comes around this way and let's raise it up a little bit there there that's pretty nice let's see without all this yes that's nice that's nice okay I like that So then now, we give the baby elephant. We need to clean up that line a little bit. There we go. Then he gets a bigger eye. Then no wrinkles there. We give him a Happy smile. He'll stay pretty close to the same. Okay. I I have to go get Bo now. Bo will give it the best shot. Bo! Alright. Hey there, y'all. Looks like a... Uh Brian and Johan are going at this. Now, I'm watching them. I'm thinking I can't. I think if I could give this a try. All right. Yeah, I don't know what they're complaining about. This ain't hard. All right, there we go. There we go. Give him some wrinkles right there on his trunk. Just a couple. You don't need a whole lot on there. Then let's have this back leg go this way. Yeah, what are they talking about? I don't know how to do this. I, I can draw. I was drawing all the time on the ranch, draw all the cattle. I think I can't draw a baby elephant. I can do that. Come on, y'all. Draw some grass back here. Let's draw some grass all over. Grass may not be my strong suit on this one. Maybe they got a point there, but I got the baby elephant. I don't know what they're talking about there. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Did I? I didn't set my timer. Well, Bo, I'm going to think I've been here for a minute. So let's do that. Grass going back there, and there, because we still got to get that giraffe in there and this acacia tree. All right, so here we go. Get a nice little umbrella shape because it's one of those umbrella thorn acacia trees. There we go. Look at there. I ain't half bad for the leaf part. Now let's get this trunk in there. We're in overtime, huh? Yeah, see, I don't know what they were worried about. Detail on the tree. A couple of movements in the tree. What's that looking like? Hey, that ain't half bad. That ain't half bad, and I ain't mad at it. I do think we need a little bit of this elephant ear over there. 
I might block where we put the giraffe, but that just looks nice. I mean, just having that ear pop around the side there. That's looking good. Not half bad. Not half bad. Yeah, it does block the giraffe a little bit, but... Oh. Oh, I let Brian take because I think he's I think he's gonna do exactly what I'm thinking. So Brian We're almost there, you guys. But yeah. I like what Bo was thinking, adding the elephant ear, although if we're gonna add it, I think it needs to be just a hair bit longer. Here. You can kind of see her ear a little bit. Well, actually, I don't know. I kind of liked it better the other way. Even though it didn't really make logical sense, it feels right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, now I don't know. <laughs> now I'm having second thoughts about it as a whole. You know what? No, we'll just go back to no ear. Logan, thank you. I don't know why, but that scene in Toy Story when the shark pops up with Woody's hat and he's like, Hey, look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Makes me laugh. Oh, my gosh. When I was a kid, my sister and I would rewind that scene over and over and over. We thought that was just the funniest thing. So there's no shame in that. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Miss Art Rules. I must have missed that, or Bo missed that, or jo or Johan missed it. Somebody missed it. Uh, Bo, have you ever thought of renting ranch, renting ranch to artists? I don't know if he's ever thought that. Hey, Bo, have you ever thought of renting out your ranch to artists? Uh, no, tell him my thing. That's what I do on my art. Yeah. He said that's mainly where he likes to do his art, so he tends to say no. Now we're gonna put a little bit of shadow in there. I don't know if that that doesn't read a shadow. Never mind. With the grass like that, it gives the illusion that I'm just doing the grass instead. I still feel like we need no. Should I should I just go ahead and do the full ear over here off to the side? That that does feel right. Even though it does block the road a little bit, but it just makes the elephant look more like an elephant. Let's put some wrinkles off the side of the ear. Where the ear connects to the head. Yeah, yeah, I like that more. And here, we'll put the giraffe up here. We'll put that the ossicones so yeah those are ossicones at the top of the head of a giraffe not horns so little tidbit you can tell your friends it's like oh those little horns at the top of a giraffe's head those aren't horns those are called ossicones I don't know how well that's coming out. Hang on. I think I need to make it smaller. Like it's even further away so like you can see the leg coming up here. We got the leg going down here. That the giraffe is just really far in the distance. like that giraffe just hmm 
I'm not, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. Maybe if I... Trying to salvage the giraffe. It's out of proportion. Well, that's kind of the thing. Is I'm trying to make the giraffe look like it's really far away. But I don't know if that's working the way that I want. I mean... What if I didn't... Oh, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. make the giraffe look this way It definitely looks the best so far, but I think I can still make it better. The head is too big. That's at a weird angle. <clears throat> so let's do this. Because they do kind of like hold their necks over, but it's a little bit long like this. With a little head. Yeah, there we go. 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 Let's give the mane do some spots. We won't go super crazy with the spots. It'll be a reticulated giraffe. Which I learned all the differences about them on the safari. We saw three different kinds. We saw the Maasai giraffe. The Rothschild and the Reticulated. So there we go. Yeah, that's, that's, okay. There it is. There it is. Mwah. All right. For line art, I'm going to say that's good. I'm going to say that's good. We won't color it or anything, but we've got the line art, and I think that's pretty good. We went almost 15 minutes over, but... No, <laughs> BTTV, no, we're not going to color it. We're out of time. This is as far as we're going to go. But we have some lovely line work, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, oh, there's a couple things I'd redo, but I'm like, hey, for one hour, as detailed as we got this thing, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at all. Uh, oh, Mickle, I missed this. Three-word impression, Sandy, Viking, and Berserker. I, Sandy, will be the Viking Berserker. Although I'm a terrible choice because I'm scared of everything. So the second we start, I shall run for the hills. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Line work is best work. Um, I am definitely more of a fan. Oops. I should have lessened that. I wanted to clean up this tree a little bit because, yeah, we should get the line separation up here, not down here. Line work is definitely my favorite. I usually don't color super often. It is definitely my least favorite out of all of the uh, steps in art. Uh, coloring is my least favorite. I, if I never had to color again, I'd be okay. <laughs> I just like, here I did all the line work, somebody else draw. <laughs> uh, somebody else color. When I was, uh, when I was a kid, I would do that all the time do one more just so it helps sell that that's mama elephant um i used to do this all the time with my sister my sister loved to color but she didn't like to draw so i would draw something and she would color it for me and so like she got to do all the coloring she wanted and i got to do all the drawing i wanted so yeah you mostly use the paint bucket i would do it more often but if you don't get everything just 
down to the nth degree, right? It's a pain. So at some points, it's like it's not even worth it sometimes. And like if I do color, like I, I respect the artists who can do all of these crazy lighting and shading and all this stuff. But every time I try it, I'm just like, I, I don't feel like I'm getting it. Sometimes I get it. There's a couple that I'm really proud of. But for the most part, I just kind of get like, eh, I'd rather just draw it. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. I love coloring. <laughs> well, good. There's lots of people. That, I'm glad that so many people love the coloring. You draw with colored pencils. No, I get you. I'm going to add a few more blades of grass everywhere just to kind of help flesh it out a little bit. It felt like there was a lot of grass on the other side of the Jeep. But not a lot up at the front so that I think that helps because you get like this dry yellow grass everywhere so I really wanted to make that a thing but yeah no I'm really happy with that make it bigger there you go yes ah oh, I'm happy with that not too shabby for an hour's work not too shabby all right now you can take that off it's very helpful while you're drawing, but it feels good when you take it off. You're like, ah, my hand is free. All right. Okay, so we're wrapping it up here. We definitely gone over time, but I think I, I think it was all for good reasons. I hope you guys agree. All right, so thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be seeing you guys again on Monday. We have got more Sonic uh, Unleashed. We'll see if I can finally get a handle on all these controls. But if I can handle Epic Mickey, I can handle Sonic Un Un Unleashed. I keep wanting to say Unchained, and I'm like, ah, that's not right. That's not right. Here, and I think I can also turn off this. Where's the button? There it is. So y'all use that little bit of light on me. Cool. All right, so I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you guys then. Oh, and be ready. I told you guys about the new music channel coming out. The first video officially goes out next Friday. So a week from today, Vocal Tunes begins. And there's more surprises coming. There is there's about to just be an explosion of Brian things. So be ready, you guys. Be ready. All right. So I will see you guys next week. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye.